So here we are outside our stand today, London Design Engineering UTC at the New York Show, which is fantastic, so much going on. And we're here with Jane. Jane's had a big part in uh, putting this event together today. She's one of our guys. Jane's just going to give you a quick idea of what we're trying to accomplish, if you can hear us over the music. Hello, we've got lots of our students here today. They've volunteered to come and show people how the equipment works that when they use at school, high-end VR equipment, Lego Mindstorms, uh, instrumentation control and they're telling visitors what, what it's all about. Hey, so we're here on the robot zone. This is Josh, my colleague. Josh, what are we doing here today? So we've got our uh, four now sit out so we can see what it's like to be in a bit of a uh, LDU UTC programming class. And then we've got two now as well, which we use in our extended project oh, two peppers. Which, uh, this is what we use in our extended project qualification when we work with businesses on different projects. Awesome, so of course I know what these things do, but what kind of things can we get the robots to do? Well, uh, the possibilities are endless, as cheesy as it sounds. Uh, these robots are fully programmable, so we can use Java, Python or C++ uh, to code the robots to do whatever we want them to do. So it's just a fantastic opportunity for students to experiment and make things do stuff. Definitely. Do stuff. Thank stuff. you Josh, cheers. This is amazing, right? So we're again back in the robot zone and we're going to talk to our principal uh, Jeffrey Fowler, he's here today, obviously overseeing things. Jeffrey, how's Hello. it going? It's going fantastic. It's a, a great opportunity for LDE to really showcase what it's doing in the community. And these robots, you've got to come and look at these, they're amazing. So what I'd really like to say is uh, thank you to the Sir John Cass Foundation who made today possible. Without them, we would not be able to showcase LDE to the community. Hey guys, we're down here at the VR zone at uh, today's event at the Mayor's Show in Newham. And this is? Kai. Kai, and Kai's been trying our VR stuff out today. What have you thought to it? Well, it's pretty intense. I, one of them was Jingle the Clown, your friendly um, clown. J Jingle or something, your friendly clown. Okay. And there's some crazy stuff going on in that room. Some crazy stuff? Yeah, it was, it was pretty scary. I was not scared. On the inside, I was frying that room. So the idea is just to try and be completely immersive in the environment. So how immersed did you feel? Well, it was pretty intense though. It felt really realistic. So would you like to learn about this kind of stuff and make your own environments? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. Well, you know where to come then. I'll be you to see. Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, back in the VR zone. This is Haran. Say hello, Haran. Hello, Haran. What are we doing here, Haran? We're just showing off some VR stuff. Okay. It's one of our future students here, right? Having a go VR. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, and this is the stuff that's already on the store, right? This is not the not the content that we've made. No. What kind of things have we, have we produced for VR? I mean, I know this, but they so, don't. So basically, we made like a um, Ethiopian village in VR. So each of us have made an asset for for Ethiopian village that we got put together to uh, make an entire scene. That's cool, right? Yeah. Very cool. Thank you very much. So right now, one of our future students' parents is actually trying on a virtual reality headset, quite enjoying himself by the looks of things. Uh, this is actually really immersive. Those of you that haven't tried VR before, it completely immerses you by giving you a view of the inside of uh, the environment itself, slightly different view per eye, so that you actually see in stereo like we do in the real world. It's quite immersive. It looks quite realistic. It feels very, very real. Um, and of course, it's only as good as the content that you put in there. I think our parent is finished now. So, uh, I didn't catch your name. What's your name? Dave. Dave, so what do you think, Dave? Amazing, amazing. The first time I've actually tried it. The first time I've you've tried it. it? I've seen it loads of times. I've got friends that own them, but I've um, never actually experienced it myself. Yeah. So it's amazing just how immersive it is. It was, yeah, yeah. So we, our students, they uh, they learn on these um, in, the, in, the, in the classroom. Okay. Not just in computing, we're, we're looking to roll this out across the whole curriculum. Really? So if, if a student is learning about engineering, we can put them into the middle of an engine and see how things work. So. 
So your first go, you oh, thought absolutely it was cool? amazing, absolutely amazing. What do you think of the dinosaur? Yeah, very impressive, very impressive. It's brilliant. It's I great. love that ledge that I was standing on. Looking yeah. Down onto the city below, that was amazing. It's very realistic, right? Yeah, yeah. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank okay, you guys, so we're down here with the Lego Zone at the Newham Show on our LGU UTC uh, marquee. This is Roxy, our art teacher and uh, Lego master. So, Roxy, what are we trying to do here with Lego? Uh, well, we're just trying to introduce boys and girls into engineering, really, with uh, just a range of technologies from uh, robots to Lego. So, they're really familiar with Lego, so it's really Brilliant. cool. Brilliant. see some of the, the Lego here. And uh, you're one of our visiting parents with your, Hello. your, your children Hello. today, so how have you found it? Well, I uh, saw a Facebook uh, invite on, on, on your website. Yeah. So, do you think it's a good experience for the student, uh, the well, children? Yeah, definitely. I mean, our kids love Legos, <laughs> so they're kind of used to Lego anyway. And yeah, they build the, the, the basics. So they started with Junior and Duplo, and now they're kind of moving towards the, the higher advanced. Uh, yeah, and it's great that it's actually a boys and girls toy, um, but we're using it here, we're sort of educationally and mechanically. Well, thank you very much. Cheers. Hey guys, we're in the science zone and this is Daniel who's yeah. demonstrating some amazing tech today. Daniel, what are we doing here? Uh, today we are demonstrating how we can produce electricity by means of static charges. Um, here we have a pantograph generator and this pantograph generator produces charges by friction. Um, simply these two uh, domes are charged by the belt here, which is a plastic belt. Yeah. And when you turn it on, it produces um, charges. And these two charges can see a spark. Wow, you see the electricity the there. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing it's stuff. It produces electric wind around the, the, the area here. And that can affect, um, your, if you're closer, can the feel that. can be attracted. Feel that. Oh, my arm, look yeah. at my arm. Feel the electric wind all around it. It's amazing. Hey guys, we're here at the Robotics and Mechatronics Zone. This is Azim. Uh, he's one of our students that's is uh, demonstrating some of the technology we've got here, as you can see. So, uh, what do you want to tell me about this? What have we got here? Um, so, this system over here is a uh, pneumatic and hydraulic system. So, um, the whole point of this is um, this, this uh, cylinder over here has liquid in it, and when it, the liquid's pressurized, uh, it can move this piston. Wow, could you do that again so we can see on here? So, uh, yeah, it can. Um, so quick, I missed it. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so the hydraulic will push this system and uh, the block comes out here. And this is Peter. Hello, Hello. Peter. Say hi, Peter. What have we got going on here, Peter? What we got going on here is a competition. We've got a robot and you've got to beat the robot. Yeah? If you look at the robot, it starts here. Right, the way it's operating. Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah? It's got a smooth technique. So this is human versus the machine. That's it. And we've got one on the table, it's a manual one for the humans on the, on the table. A manual one for the humans, yeah, I love and how then they've got that. to beat the, the robot and then get a prize, a nice frisbee or a nice fish. So the question is, has anybody won the frisbee yet? About four people. Really? Yeah. So we're beating the computers? There you go. Yes. <laughs> Thanks Peter. Thank you. at today then at the London Design Engineering stand? Um, I've been looking to find new and interesting stuff and up to now I find you. I don't know what's about but uh, it was fun as an experience. And we've, we've 3D scanned you which you can see on the screen behind you. Yes. What do you think that? What do you think that experience? <laughs> well it was a bit like a freak show but interesting. <laughs> I mean I had to stand very still to look just in one point and that was kind of a difficult. Yeah. yeah. But ultimately we should be able to upload you online and you can have a look at yourself in yes. 3D later. And print myself. And print it over there on our print. Thank you very much.